look so bad. My eyes water and that's a, it's a side effect from the taxotere. My eyes water so bad. They water so bad. I cannot wait to be done with this. I can't, like I can't. And it's starting to like, so when my daughter went to her new daycare, not her kindergarten, her new daycare, she was crying like almost every day. She was so sad. She was crying. And she started to get like this, these dark spots under her eyes because like I guess, I don't know what it causes it from the water, um, from the tears and stuff. But that's how my eyes, like I have to wear eye makeup and I've never had like dark, oh, focus. Get in focus, bitch. Um, I've never had dark circles under my eyes. I've never had to like put eye makeup on or anything. But um, now I have to because my eyes are getting, my under eyes are getting so irritated from like all the water and my eyes water all the time. This has been the most annoying side effect, for real. If I didn't have the watery eyes, I would be straight. And it's probably because I don't have any eyelashes. Like, all my eyelashes stuff fell out. But anyways, what's up, y'all? It's your girl, Shauna Mae. Welcome back to my channel. I know I'm looking rough. Um, your girl's tired. I am tired. I, um, I still feel pretty good considering, like, what I'm going through. I'm doing well. Thank God. I'm doing really well. But, y'all, I've just been, like, dragging ass. Like, it's so bad. I'm just so tired. I have to like push myself to do things. I really truly have to push. I forgot we had a Sprouts out here. I need to visit that Sprouts. I totally forgot we had a Sprouts out here. I love Sprouts. Sprouts is the bomb. I love Sprouts. I love me some Sprouts. I need to go over there and check it out. I'm actually on the way to the grocery store right now. Um, so since doing chemo, I don't think I've been, I haven't been grocery shopping at all. I usually just go to, I've been ordering my groceries online because it's just so much easier. It's so much easier, you guys, just to order groceries online. And um, so yeah, I haven't gone grocery shopping at all since I started chemo. I just typically order my groceries online. Um, and it's so easy because you can just basically re-put everything. Hold up. This Starbucks is always super packed, but it looks empty today. Well, what the hell is going on? Oh my God, this Starbucks is empty. The Starbucks is never empty. This Starbucks, the line is always freaking ridiculous. Hi, welcome to Starbucks. What can I get started for you? Good morning. Do you guys have the cream cheese the muffin the muffin with the cream cheese in the middle oh the pumpkin yeah we do today can i get one of those please you want it warmed up yes oh, please okay. yes so oh thank you for offering yes ma'am thank you you're welcome anything uh, else can i do uh i want something hot can i just can i do a i guess a cafe mocha yeah venti hot can I, can I do an ad shot and soy and no a uh, whip? Family's coming, so I need to start just slowly getting things for Thanksgiving so like we're not like last minute I'm not trying to be last minute with Thanksgiving I'm not and then like um, my stepdaughters they're coming well the oldest is coming next week she's coming on Friday to come help me out she's so sweet <coughs> I don't believe in like putting this kind of stuff off on anybody I mean I'll put it off on my husband and my my mom and them because and my dad because that's what they're there for but like other people I don't like putting it off on but it's literally okay to ask for help 
and I know I've probably made things a lot harder on myself trying to be a tough girl and I got it I can do it even my stepdaughter she was like she's 21 she was like well I'm just coming I'm coming these days because she's like let me get my calendar I'm just gonna come these days because you're not gonna ask for help and she's right I would never ask them I would never put them out I would never it was even hard for me to ask like my friends um to help me out at work like not help me out at work but it was hard asking like my friends to go to chemo with me just to like give my husband a break because he um my husband works seven days a week he literally he works so hard he works so hard and so his only days off he would take me to chemo and I just feel terrible because I know he's tired so I just started asking my friends to like take me to chemo and like usually I don't know every morning with chemo it's like chaotic so I don't know it's whatever because like me I didn't really watch too many like chemo stories because I didn't want to like I didn't want to like under or overestimate how exhausted or not exhausted I'd be but if you still want to do things and be active or whatever I believe you, you still can you just have to pace yourself you know that's why I'm drinking this coffee and I'm about to do this grocery shopping oh my god I don't want to go in here but I need to what time is it? I'm give myself five minutes and then I'm gonna go in. I bought this from Ulta. They're having these little gifts because you know they're getting ready for the holidays. This thing, Gold Culture. Oh my god, this is Juicy Couture and this is, or Viva La Juicy, Gold Culture. I'm definitely gonna buy the large bottle of this. This smells so good the bomb but anyways all right you guys it's my little time is about to run out on my thing anyways which means i need to go in so i'll check i'll check back with you guys later peace good morning good morning good morning what's up you guys today is the last day of chemo i like I've blown it this week as far as like documenting. I just, you know, the normal stuff. I went grocery shopping. I try to clean a little, I, but we actually have somebody coming in to do a deep clean because I'm just a little worn out. Um, I fought a cold. You guys know it's flu season. So make sure you, let me see if I set this up. Make sure you guys are um, taking your emergency. Emergency is okay to take, but as always, clear it with your doctor um, and wear your mask. I was trying to be big and bad, and I wasn't wearing a mask, and I caught COVID about a month and a half ago. I still went and got my infusion because I ain't got time. And then last week, I went into the building, and there's just a lot of nasty germs and stuff going around, and... I got sick again. Um, I actually feel so much better, but I really, the last uh, few days I teleworked and I just um, just was like on medicine around the clock. Um, so you know you take steroids, or for my regimen, not everybody's, I take steroids before my chemo and it kind of just bo boosts my immune system. And I fought <laughs> having to take the steroids because it definitely has made my face a little puffy. I got a little bit of a belly um, and I haven't been working out the way I wanted to because if it came down to me spending time with my daughter and taking care of the house and doing my stuff and working out, working out is just not a priority right now for me. I just don't have time. But anyways, I definitely can tell the steroids helped um, fight some of this cold off because um, you really do not want to be sick going into chemo because that hits your immune system and it's just disgusting. But next week my stepdaughter is coming sunday to like help out and then i'm off monday and tuesday and then wednesday i'll work and then thursday and friday it's a holiday for us for veterans day say what's up to your veteran um and um so i'll only have to work one day next week so i'll have plenty of time just to like relax and like rest up and stuff so i'm and that's why i'm like determined to 
get this last hit of chemo. So anyways, I am just waiting for my girl to take me to chemo and to finish this up. Oh, she's here. Okay, see you guys later. Bye.